So when it comes to the spread of misinformation regarding the COVID-19 pandemic and the vaccines, I think that most reasonable people know by now that Fox News has been one of, if not the worst, offenders here. And it's not like they mostly get it right, but seldomly get something wrong. No, every single night they are spreading disinformation about the COVID-19 pandemic. As Media Matters' Matthew Gertz points out here, they do this every single night. And you could see various examples of how they will fearmonger about kids getting the COVID-19 vaccine. They will fearmonger about vaccine mandates, any mitigation measure that a local government might put into place to stop the spread of the virus, be it mask mandates or social distancing. They're against that too. And this is all especially nefarious knowing what we know about Fox News. 90% of Fox News employees are vaccinated. In fact, their vaccine requirements are even more stringent than the ones put into place by the Biden administration, which their network's hosts condemn all the time. So they're knowingly lying to millions and millions of people every single night, and they're all intelligent enough to be aware of the consequences of their misinformation. In fact, their disinformation is deadly, literally. And we have an example to point out how dangerous what they say is, because one man actually listened to Tucker Carlson. He took his advice, didn't get vaccinated. He contracted COVID-19 and he died. And this man's family believes that this disinformation sold by people like Tucker Carlson is the reason why he was vaccine hesitant. Take a look. Yeah, uh, it was one month ago that he was completely healthy, helping me move all my furniture into my first apartment, uh, doing all the heavy lifting for me. And he moved you in. This is your first apartment at college, I might add. He moved you in there. He stayed the night with you. And what did he say to you as, I, as he was leaving? Uh, he gave me a, a really big hug and he said, I, I'm proud of you, Katie Bug. And he walked out my front door and if I had known that that was going to be my last time seeing my dad in person, alive and well, I, I don't think I would have left go, let go of him. No. Why was he so hesitant to get vaccinated, Katie? Uh, there, there's multiple reasons, I think. Uh, one of which was some of the media that he ingested. He wasn't by any means far right. He was right in the middle and he consumed media from both sides and just some of the misinformation on one of those sides made him hesitant. So he was going to wait for FDA approval, but by the time that Pfizer had been approved, it was already too late. Pfizer got the full FDA approval and your father was already sick. Evan, talk to me about your final goodbye to your father, did you have a chance to spend any real time with him? Not really. I was already staying at another house and he was just coming by to pick something up and he didn't even want to get too close because he was too worried about getting me sick so I didn't even get to hug him before he left and then before I knew he was gone. You guys are vaccinated now, Evan. You know, what, what was the message ultimately that your father wanted to spread about vaccines? He wasn't anti-vaccine. He was just hesitant. And I now that, you know, Pfizer has been FDA approved, I don't think he would have anything wrong with telling people to get that vaccine. He, uh, his final words to my stepmom on a FaceTime call was that, he wishes, he wished that he was vaccinated. Those were his final words? Uh, to my stepmom, uh, the last call that she had with him, he said that he wished that he was vaccinated. And Katie, you said from one media source in particular, he was getting misinformation, or he was getting information that led him to be hesitant on vaccines. Who? I mean, who was he listening to? Uh, he, he watched some Tucker Carlson videos on YouTube, uh, and some of those videos involved some misinformation about vaccines, mm -hmm. and I believe that that played a role.
Misinformation and disinformation is always going to be harmful, but during a pandemic, it quite literally is deadly, and that proves it. This is someone who, as his children described, he wasn't like some far-right loon. He wasn't necessarily explicitly anti-vax, but he was vaccine-hesitant because of people like Tucker Carlson, who claim, mm, there's some stuff about the vaccines that, you know, the government just isn't telling you. Maybe you should be afraid. So he was waiting for it to get full FDA approval, but by then it was too late. He got COVID-19 and he died because he listened to people like Tucker Carlson. He watched YouTube videos featuring Tucker Carlson and he died. And his last words were um, that he wished he would have gotten the vaccine. That's what he told that girl's stepmom. Tucker Carlson quite literally is partially to blame for this man's death. Is Tucker Carlson going to pay for this family's funeral expenses or any healthcare costs? Of course not. Tucker Carlson is going to find out about this story. He's going to know that these children blame him for their dad's death, but do you think he's going to care? Of course not. He's not going to have any trouble sleeping at night whatsoever because Tucker Carlson... He knows what he's doing. This is all about ratings to him and other Fox News propagandists, right? They know that if they were to actually inform their viewers about how the vaccines are in actuality safe and effective, that they would be angry, right? Every single person who watches Fox News tunes in every single night because they want their biases to be confirmed. They want the Fox News hosts to tell them what they want to hear. So they're not going to lose their ratings and, you know, tell them what they should hear they're just gonna lie to them and those lies have consequences those consequences are deadly and the misinformation never stops with tucker carlson just this last week on monday he said this about the covid 19 vaccines the point of mandatory vaccination is to identify the sincere christians in the ranks the free thinkers the men with high testosterone levels and anyone else who does not love joe biden and make them leave immediately it's a takeover of the u.s military Here's how they're doing it. This show has just obtained a PowerPoint that the army is using to justify mandatory vaccines to the troops. This is an actual slide from it on your screen. You will notice there the sympathetic portrayal of Satanism. How many children were sacrificed to Satan because of the vaccine? The slide reads apparently sarcastically. Then the pres presentation proceeds to list the so-called tenets of Satanism, which are taken straight from the Temple of Satanism website. So here you have the United States Army doing PR for Satanism. The rest of the presentation is less shocking than that, but it's utterly shoddy and dishonest. For example, it falsely claims that only three people have died from taking the COVID vaccine. Reports collected by the Biden administration itself indicate that number is actually in the thousands. So you were just blasted with so much misinformation, it would take me hours to unpack all of it. But we'll get to that last line in particular, which was especially troubling. But think about what he's subtly suggesting here. These vaccine mandates, they target Christians, and this is being peddled by Satan worshipers, right? So if Christians are being targeted and the people targeting them are Satan worshipers, and they're trying to force you to take this vaccine, maybe it's, you know, similar to them forcing you to take the mark of the beast. Maybe these vaccines are basically the mark of the beast. There's been some far-right evangelical pastors who has uh, floated this, but that's what Tucker Carlson is priming people to believe. He's not explicitly saying it because he knows there'd be a lot of backlash. So he's kind of just like nudging you in that direction to make you think yourself, oh, maybe these vaccines are the mark of the beast if they're being pushed by Satan worshipers. I don't want it. Do we even know what he's talking about? No. Is the military actually like sending out uh, documents and slideshows talking about the core tenets of Satanism. I mean, it, I don't know if they are, who cares? That has nothing to do with the actual vaccine mandate itself. It's necessary. Uh, people in the military, they take like how many vaccines? So what's one other that's going to save their lives potentially? But this is misinformation. But the worst thing that he said there was a lie about the safetiness of these vaccines. And Max Kennedy said it best. Notice the specific anti-vax lie at the end. Tucker Carlson claims the Biden administration has data showing the number of people who, quote, died from taking the COVID vaccine is actually in the thousands. This is why we can't get the pandemic under control. And that's exactly right. He is very deliberately trying to get people to think that these vaccines are dangerous and they might 
kill them. Now, I don't know what figure he's referring to that the Biden administration supposedly put out, but if I had to guess, it would be a figure on the CDC's website. Now, if you go to the CDC's website, they have a page where they talk about how the vaccines are indeed safe and effective, but they do list all of the serious adverse side effects. Even if they're rare, they do state some of the more serious adverse side effects that some people have gotten. And I think that this is where he's getting that number from. And once I read to you what it says, if this is indeed what he's referring to, you can see how he's misconstruing it. So it reads, reports of death after COVID-19 vaccination are rare. More than 386 million doses of COVID-19 vaccines were administered in the United States from December 14th, 2020 through September 20th, 2021. During this time, VAERS received 7,899 reports of death. That's 0.0020% among people who received a COVID-19 vaccine. That's the number that I think he's referring to, but uh, I'll continue reading. FDA requires healthcare providers to report any death after COVID-19 vaccination to VAERS, even if it's unclear whether the vaccine was the cause. Reports of adverse effects, this is key, to VAERS following vaccination, including deaths, do not necessarily mean that a vaccine caused a health problem. A review of available clinical information, including death certificates, autopsy, and medical records, has not established a causal link to COVID-19 vaccines. However, recent reports indicate that a plausible causal relationship between the J&J vaccine and TTS, a rare and serious adverse event, blood clots with low platelets, which has caused deaths. So if there's going to be any risk that can lead to deaths, they're going to state it right here. But I think that that's what Tucker Carlson is probably referring to. That's 7,899 reported deaths. But it very clearly says on this document that I'm assuming he's referring to, uh, it says that there's no causal relationship. Correlation does not equal causation. So the fact that he would just put that out there into the universe and make his viewers think that thousands of people are dying from the COVID-19 vaccines, it's extremely irresponsible. But even if we accept his argument, let's at face value take that misinformation and let's assume that 10,000 people died from the vaccines and let's actually assume that it was directly related, right? They took the vaccines and they died. Let's assume that that is true for a moment. It's not true. The vaccines are safe and effective, but let's assume for purposes of this argument that it's true. Well, compare that 10,000 deaths to over 650,000 deaths from the virus. It's still, knowing that risk, which doesn't exist, it's hypothetical, but knowing that risk, it still makes more sense for people statistically to get the vaccine. He knows what he's doing. He's not, he's not dumb. This is a very, very smart and strategic propagandist. He knows exactly what he's doing. Even if the data that he's misconstruing meant what he thought it meant or wanted you to think it meant, it still wouldn't prove his argument. It's still better to get the vaccine. You're still better off to get the vaccine. It might save your life. Studies have shown that it's, that it saved hundreds of thousands of lives. The COVID vaccines have saved hundreds of thousands of lives. But Tucker Carlson, he's on a mission to uh, stop people from doing what's in their best interest, even if it's his own viewers. And it's not just Tucker Carlson, to be fair. It's all of Fox News' hosts. It's anyone online who's spreading misinformation. All of this disinformation has deadly consequences, deadly consequences. And the problem is that there's just no accountability. He can spread this deadly disinformation and not have to face any repercussions. Beta male.